Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer game review. Today's game up on the tabletop, or game series, is the Unfold series. I have Dark Story here and the Victim of the Pyramid, and these are envelope-based escape room games. Basically, in these games, you're going to be playing one or more players. They take roughly 60 to 90 minutes to play, and they're for ages 12 and up. You could play a little older, I suppose, depending on which uh, game you play and the difficulty of the game. Um, but this game is similar to the exit games from Thames and Cosmos, in which players are going to be opening the envelopes and going from page one to two and three and unfolding here and there and reading the story completing puzzles and challenges along the way and getting to the end. Your objective in these games is to complete them within a given amount of time. If you can do it before 60 minutes are up, you're pretty much a legend. And if you can do it before 90, you've successfully done it pretty well. And then at 90 plus, well, you won and that's all that matters. Uh, these games have a wide variety of different stories and details and we'll go into detail with how the basic idea of setup and play is. It's very simple, so I'll kind of condense it. And then we'll talk about what I think about the Unfold series from Alley Cat Games. Are you ready? I am. Let's go. So we ended up playing the Victim of the Lost Pyramid game last night on stream. These are one-shot games. Once you play them, playing them again is kind of pointless. You already know how the game works and the puzzles. Um, but what's really cool about these games is they are replayable. So you can put everything back together again and send it on to a friend and then they can play and uh, it can continue from there. I mean, it's probably only usable a few times before the pieces start getting a little too disheveled and out of shape. But anyway, let's talk about how the game works. You'll take the game, basically the envelope, and you will open it up. When you open it up, you are going to be greeted with the solutions and the rules, etc., etc., and you'll go from reading the game rules from the top to the bottom of the page here, and then you're going to be going from uh, one to two to three, and it just keeps opening up even farther. And this thing becomes this large little like little adventure story uh, that you're going to be going through. And in in the game, all you do is basically just open up the first two pages and read them. These are the type of games that you do not need to actually read the rule book before you and your friends just sit down and play the game. You can just simply open it up, start reading the rules. The story and rules are in, integrated into the game itself. And so it's a game that's pretty straightforward with that. Uh, playing the game is also pretty simple. This game comes with some solutions. It comes with the answers, and those are actually different. The solutions are if you give up on a challenge, you can read it. It will explain what the solution was and why. And then the answers are little unfoldable little areas which you can pop open and see if you're correct. It'll also have hints. So you'll read through it and then you'll go from one to two to three. And in each page or pages, there are there is is or are challenges. Uh, there are also little knickknacks in the game you will get. So page one might say something like solve this riddle or this puzzle, use this beads or use these keys. It just really depends on the game that you're playing and what pieces of content it is going to come with. And each of them is going to have uh, an answer of sorts. It'll be like a symbol or a number and on the answer sheet when you open this bad boy up you'll have the opportunity to pull on one of these tabs here and if you pull on one of them as your answer which is your guess basically all the answers of the game are on here uh, you'll see if you're right or wrong. You'll go boop and if it's red you're wrong, if it's green you're right and basically the whole thing is all about time and as you spend more time or get the answers wrong or use hints you'll start gaining time with the game. Uh, and you're just trying to get to the end of the envelope. And once you do, that's the end of the game. You've successfully co accomplished the story. You'll like learn about the story and how it, like, how it all went out. And then you'll also um, go ahead and calculate your time. You'll say, okay, it took us 40 minutes to do it. We used three hints. We used one solution. Add up those minutes together. Did we get under 90? Did we get under 60? Or did we get over? And then that's how well you did. And then you take it, you put it all back together again, and pass it on to another player or a group of friends that have not played that specific Unfold adventure. That's how you play the game. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. What do I think about them? The Unfold series is basically an exit game by Thames and Cosmos. The unique puzzles and things that you solve are very similar uh, in those games and as are in these. You might be using an answer key, you might be using some type of utensil or tool that will assist you in figuring out a puzzle. Maybe it will be involving length in some way or going back into the previous pages that you have looked at before to determine what you need to answer and how you should answer it. And the story integrates with the 
the different portions of puzzles and like solutions. Uh, the first thing I noticed about this game is at least for the, eh, both of them I'd say, uh, sometimes the solutions are a little easier than you might think. If you're used to playing very, very challenging um, the escape room puzzles, then you probably should like take it a step back and just think of what the most simple solution is. That was what got us really chalked up. We played the pyramid game on our live stream last night actually. And when we played it, some of them were simple on their surface, but we kept reading too far into them. So you kind of need to determine what the basic solution is most likely to be. And if it seems simple enough, it probably is. Uh, there are challenges and tribulations that you'll have to go through in the game as you play. But for the most part, the main reasons we messed up were because we read too far into them and like analyzed them too deeply. Uh, just play the game and acknowledge when the puzzles exist and what you most likely need to do. And you're gonna get through this one a lot easier. Easier. Uh, this is more made to be a flowy type of a game where you go from one page to the next, solving each little riddle and puzzle and pushing on and progressing. And it kind of functions the same way as the exit games. Well, what are the differences? Why should you pick up this one over an exit game? Well, the first and main thing is exit games you rip apart. They're kind of a uh, a story that you literally rip and tore and, and and piece together certain things. You'll use the box itself and bend it and whatnot. So once you've played through that, that's it. It's on. You cannot play it again. You have to buy another copy of an exit game. Um, and if you enjoy those type of games, they're one shots and uh, they're really good. Now, these ones here function the same way as far as the style of game. But of course, there are different stories, obviously, and there are different ways you'll solve the riddles and different riddles, but they all function similarly to those games. This thing, the main aspect, the best aspect of this game being, well, not just the, yeah, I'd say the best and main, is, is you can put this back together, fold everything back together, and send it on to another group of friends, which I really love for games like these. So that way they, I get more use out of this thing. Um, additionally, this thing too has the aspect of unfolding. Uh, like you probably seen in my other video if you did watch it, is being able to unfold this and utilize it all on just one little area. And it starts to like get bigger and bigger as the game progresses uh, to the point where you're going to have kind of this living story that is now etched through the entirety of the booklet. It just pops out into this whole big thing. It's even bigger than this. This thing is massive. And there's pieces and components that you'll be utilizing the game. Uh, what's also nice too is that it's very simple as to how you're supposed to uh, put it back together. Uh, and that is also really great. Uh, it tells you how to do all that stuff at the end, just in case you didn't notice, but you just take the pages and go backwards from the number and place any components that you had and put them back. So I really like that aspect too. Uh, the art for this game is great. Each portion of it utilizes wonderful art, wonderful aspects to the story, and it works really well with the theme of the game. They're fun, little cheesy stories, but overall great and super great for kids. Um, I'd say I, I enjoy this game so much I want to keep them, but I feel like I'd be doing a disservice. I'm actually going to take these games once I finish playing all of them that I got, and I'm going to send them on to my friends so that they can go ahead and enjoy them, which is the greatest part about this game, being able to play it and enjoy the story and enjoy the little experience and then pass it on to somebody else and let them enjoy it up until the point where it's no longer, it's been used so much that, that, that it just it showed so much love for the game that somebody else can no longer enjoy it, so it's time to get a new copy of Unfold. But there's so many of these guys that it's going to be fun to be able to play and then pass along. I love these games. They're great. I love exit games. Oh, those are a lot of fun. I love the escape room puzzly challenging games. I'm only great at certain puzzles. My wife's great at others, and so we like to play together. But we can also play in larger groups as well. The Unfold series is great, excellent. If you like escape room games, pick these guys up and then pass them on out. Thank you for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Unfold, uh, The Dark Story and The Victim of the Pyramid. If you're interested in picking them up, there's a link down below in the description from Bad Cat Games where you can go ahead and check them out for yourselves to enjoy yourselves for an evening and then hopefully give to somebody else. If you think we've earned your subscription, maybe you've watched more than one of our videos here or even just this one, if you really, really want to help us out, push that subscribe button and the notification button as well. Our live streams are every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and, uh, X now, <laughs> and you go ahead and watch us play games just like this one, in fact, and see how the games are played to determine if they're actually for you or not. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to unfolding a new adventure with you next time.